with our top five we're gonna do it a little bit different here at cloud tv y'all mm. our our cloud our mm, our top five <laughs> is gonna be a top five that resonates to us as far as these artists you know having impactful moments in our lives like why these artists like why we are who we are today so it doesn't have to be what you see on message boards what you see on top five lists it's what these artists personally mean to you and that's how we're gonna get this thing started um now with our special guests here we're gonna go ahead and get their one through five but with the Cloud TV crew, we're just going to get R5, and then every episode, we're just going to go down the list till we get to number one. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it down to... Who should, who should start it off? Who y'all feel like should start this thing off? Should we start with the guys, or or should we just go I ahead and start it off? This place. Place? I want y'all to go first. All right, I'll, I'll start it off. Um, my number five is Ross. Mm. Oh, mm. good choice. Mm. And five. the reason why I'm going with Ross number five is I just always felt like Ross resonated with me a little bit more with me being a big guy, you know, just having a big guy after pop. I mean, after big that that was talking that cool shit and make big people feel like, you know, we have a, a place in this world, too. You know what I'm saying? And it's the way he just describes things like he's the best with like articulating like his life, whether it's real or not. <laughs> Food just everything and then his placement as far as how he picks his beats like his his um his sequencing of his albums i feel like there's not too many artists in the game that are good at picking beats and putting them together in an album where it flows so that's the reason why ross is in my top five there's there's plenty more reasons but i want to kind of keep it quick but um yeah that's my number five yeah i'm right you know what i mean real number five goddamn i gotta go with the gang man he brought the west coast back with a fucking vengeance you know what I mean? You know the West Coast fell off from all the NWA early gangster rap shit. But man, when game dropped, man, then he had West Coast, East Coast, North, South, everybody fucking well. Especially when he was with Dipset making all the mixtapes and shit right there. But you know what I mean? That's my number five, dog. What's up, Fox? Yo, it's Fox. Number five, gotta be 50. Gas to. Gotta, I grew up watching Get Rich and Die Trying. I've been watching that movie plenty of times. I'm talking about Every scene, I know every little box. Cause shit, that's just how I grew up. <laughs> we stayed watching that motherfucker every day. Uh, another reason why he influenced me, shit. Look at all the stuff he's doing now, man. Like he, he's he's owning shit. Like he's he's on top of the game right now. He got some shit on lock. Like he got he done came up like little Chris. Like he done did some old. He came up, bro. He's showing out with the power. Come on, man. He's, yeah, I'm, I just watch him, I just watch him do, like, everything he did, he's inspiring. Like, he really put me on to some shit. It's a water with white people. <laughs> Tank top. 50-50's <laughs> the man. All right, you got Damien here. I gotta go, my top five for fifth spot, gotta go to Kid Cudi. To me, he's one of the most influential artists to come in our time, or our generation. He's inspired countless other artists. Kanye West, I mean, I'm uh, Travis Scott, uh, the list goes on Logic. So I just remember where I was when I first heard Day and Night, Game Changer, mm -hmm. big time Game Changer. Uh, Mixtapes, uh, albums, I love the way he had Common narrated. A lot of people didn't quite notice that, but I, I saw what Travis Scott did the same thing and he got T.I. to narrate his, and it's just, He's just a trendsetter in so many different ways, man. He spoke to the to the kids, uh, the kids that were dealing with depression, dealing with suicidal thoughts. He, he saved countless lives, really, because you know music is a natural resource. He he's a he's a a mind, <laughs> straight up. You forgot you forgot his. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nigga can hum a whole song, and I'm I'm here for it. Yes, so he had a whole mixtape with just humming. <laughs> Shit probably black. <laughs> I swear. The name of it just be. He had a TED talk too. I thought you said he's about to drop a whole series on Netflix and just hum, like him humming like a whole hour. <laughs> he got me. Cut he helped you to sleep. I let that shit play while I'm cleaning. Yeah. Sitting there watching that. Yes. His first <laughs> album, like, I mean, classic. I mean, maybe first two. I say first one for sure. It's supposed to play out like a dream. And no, I love sleeping. I love naps. Yeah. Mm. All 
right, which one of y'all want to start with? Either you could do your fifth spot or you could go through your top five, whoever impacted you. So we can do it like this. We can go five, 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 four, four, four. Right, this is five. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Anticipation. Uh, I got, so this is not a no particular order. J. Cole is in that top five. Um, Believe it or not, Busta Rhymes. Hey, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Anarchy. Um, who else? Jay's in that top five as well. Reasonable doubt. Let's see. Biggie's in that top five. And then... Oh, and Andre 3000. I, I can applaud to him. Three stats. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to do, do top five that I listen to right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Switching okay. it up. Is okay. All time I like that. Is I'm going to stick with rap. Um, no particular order. I'll go Rick Ross. Mm -hmm. Nipsey. Mm -hmm. Larry June. This right now, Larry June, I ain't nowhere in my all time. And you got Larry June over Dom Kennedy? I I mean, yeah, but but Larry Larry June making music for right now. Like Dom, don't get me wrong, Dom is one of my favorite rap artists. But if we go back to Wiz, how he felt about Wiz Khalifa, that's kind of how I feel about Dom. But he just ain't really branch out nowhere else. Um, who was that? Three? Yeah, I'm Travis gonna, Scott. You ain't say Travis Scott. Nah, no, no, that's so. that's the new one. And then five, probably little baby. But right now, okay. right now, that's right cool. Now. That's a good. That's a good song. These yeah, people you can find in my recently played. Like, yeah, that's what we're going with. Yeah, I'm not. With all. all right. Uh, I don't know if it's top five, but I'd say top five most influential. Uh, can't put it in order. Um, got the currency up there. Uh, definitely, uh, it's gonna be heavily rap bases. Maybe be doing something to you. Um, <laughs> Rick Ross. Yes. Uh, gotta put Gucci in there. Oh, oh yes. yes. Uh, it's a surprise nomination. Uh, got my man Miles Davis up there. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. So no six nine for anybody? No. <laughs> hey man, let's not, let's not sleep on six nine. Sleep on what? <laughs> <laughs> you try. All right, so the, we we need you guys too. Everybody here. Oh yeah, yes. we need yeah, everybody. For, yeah. Let's <laughs> go put ball. the cameras on each other like, yeah. <laughs> oh, this real quick. Uh, <laughs> That's his, yeah, he, his face, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, I blurred my face. He's on witness protection. <laughs> uh, well, um, my, my number five will always be College Dropout Kanye. Mm. Um, just because of the album in general, it resonates uh, to me differently because... Uh, it brings me back to a time where it was pretty much the best times of my life. My childhood, uh, I was I was in a single family home, and it was, it was just vibing. When you hear, when I hear certain songs like Jesus Walks, Through the Wire, uh, All Falls Down and stuff, you just vibe differently, you know. It takes you back, you're nostalgic, you just reminiscing through it. So College Dropout Kanye is, is, is his top five for me. Uh, different story, uh, Kanye today though. Um, I'm not gonna get into that, but yeah, College Dropout Kanye, I got a, I got a particular particularly on that. Is that a word? Particularly. I got to particularly on that. We can look it up. We can look it up. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'll drop out Kanye. Fucks that Kanye. You right. Going to his number five, Rick Ross, in my personal opinion, had his best verse on Devil in a Red Dress on My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. I had to say that. New dress, my bad. I don't want to mess that up. Yeah. 
<laughs> Top five for me, number five. Uh, a lot of people wouldn't have known, but it's Guru from Gangstar. You oh, know what I mean? Shit. You feel what I'm saying? You feel me? Diversity is crazy. I bet. I, as long as somebody feel me, you know what I'm saying? He was just super influential. Like, when I was a kid, like, he basically, I basically found him through skateboard videos, like, all types of videos and edits and shit like that. Like, in the early 2000s and late 90s, him, his music, or well, Gangstar, you know what I'm saying? That music was in a lot of the videos. So it made me, like, you know what I'm saying, tune in and figure out, like, who that was. And then my dad put me on. I was like, oh, you listen to um, The Guru. And I was like, who's Guru? You know what I mean? Like, Gangstar. I'm like, oh, Gangstar, yeah. I didn't know who Guru was at the time, you know what I'm saying? But um, just, like, all the, all his songs that he, like, all his albums, like, I have every single album that he's ever made. And he was just putting me on game young, like, you know what I'm saying, to, like, what's going on in the music industry, outside of the music industry, like, you know what I'm saying, conspiracies. Um, I mean, for real, for real, he was almost considered a prophet. Like, he was ahead of his time. And I don't know, he was just that dude to me. You know what I mean? Just super influential. I always had his music in my my iPhone, my, my ear pods. You know, when I'm skating and shit with the, iP- uh, with the iPod or whatnot. And he's just dope, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Primo on the beats, like, <laughs> straight up. Oh, yeah, you too. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I see you over there. She's trying to, wait see, see she's trying to, she's trying to see if we carry on the next topic. Or something. Um, so I'm a female, so I'm going to switch it up a little bit and do my top five females. Okay, okay. I like that. Um, So number five, I'm going to definitely take Missy Elliott. Ooh. First of all, she's from where I'm from. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Seven, five. Hey, shout out seven, five right there. Now I mean, Norfolk. Four, I'm going to take Rihanna. Only because she, um, her music really like helps me out a lot. Um, makes me feel sexy if I want to feel sexy. If I want to be sad, F these niggas, I can listen to her. Yeah, she's harder than a lot of rappers. She is. Yep. Um, three, I got to take Nicki as my third. OK. Um, that whole Pink Print album, like, I don't know if y'all listened to it, but if you ever like went through something, it'll just it'll help you out a lot, a lot. Two, right now I'm gonna say two. I'm gonna go with Lil' Kim for two. Definitely Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim. Oh. Number two. Number two, Lil' Kim. Right. Who is things? number one? <laughs> now me, I'm gonna go with Beyonce. Hey. Wow. Only because, be, oh Beyonce, the B they Beyonce. Okay. That was a different beast. Right there, Beyonce. Um, okay, and okay. I also like her self-titled album, Beyonce, because you see a different side of her. She's not talking about like love. She's talking about feeling sexy. This, like, that's different, different types of genres. So I'm definitely gonna Beyonce for number one. Word, yeah. word. Right. I that's thought that list. Yes, sir. Oh, that, list right there. <laughs> that was a shock when Missy came in. Bro. Yeah, I was always knew she had Missy and Pharrell. Like, yeah, they don't need a lot for the game. We get everybody's style. Switch up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skateboard piece, uh, rapping, like future move that dope. I ain't never seen that guy. Yeah. 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 I was expecting yeah. to hear Lauren Hill up there on that. Yeah, you ain't thought about it, but. Okay. I listened to her a lot, so I wanted like one That's fair. I listened to her. You're right. My mom listened to her more than that. She only really oh, had one album, right? Me. I think. Like, she, her album was yeah. dope. Yeah. I don't listen to her like that. I don't she should have dropped another one after Miss Education.